everyone, and a few videos ago, um, someone suggested in the comments that I should um, do a kind of overall review of the year, of Holby, obviously. Um, so yeah, that's what I'm going to do, so let's get on with the video. So I'm just going to start by going through the characters that joined, the characters that have left, and you know, the storylines, then I'm going to talk about what I th like my favourite things and that sort of stuff, so yeah. we The characters that have joined us this year have been Adele. Amazing character. Raph and Amy, who I'm... I liked Amy, but Raph I'm, I wasn't a big fan of. Obviously there was Jesse, and I have mixed feelings on him. Fletch, need I say anymore, I, I love him. And then... The... Kind of, not quite main characters, but reoccurring characters, I think they call them. Kyle, Fleur and Sophia. All of who... I do like. Or Fleur, you know, I have mixed feelings on her as well. So yeah, I think Hilby have done quite well with new characters this year and they've brought in, you know, you've got a character like Adele who is just hilarious and, you know, first she was there for comedy and then we got to know her more and she's still funny and, you know, a bit crazy, but <laughs> we know that she does have ambition she wants to be a nurse and you know she's serious about it and all that and she does want to help people so you know her character's developed already and I can't remember when she started but it wasn't that long ago obviously it was this year and then you got Raph who was brought in for the storyline brought in to give Harry a storyline basically um so now that's kind of over because Amy's left it will I think Amy's left anyway Wikipedia says she has. <laughs> Not that that means anything. Um, it'll be nice to see where they take it, like with him, if they do anything else. So yeah, those are the two new characters that have stood out to me, I think. And Fletch, I loved him anyway, so you know. But they haven't really done anything with Fletch yet, so I'm looking forward to see what they will carry on his storylines from casualty and, you know, that sort of thing. And... Yeah. And not many characters have left this year, which is always good. I think last year was the year of characters leaving, which also meant we got quite a few new characters, which is always good. Sorry, I have cramp in my foot and pins and needles, and it's horrible. Um, so leaving, we have Bonnie, but... Oh. I have mixed feelings about... Oh, no, I didn't like her, but her death did make me a bit sad. And then Colette, which also made me very sad. Because I think they could have done so much more with Colette. They, because Louise was never going to be in it for a long time. I think she said that when she first came in. Well, she said that to the producers anyway. So they didn't really know what to do with Colette. So just had her there. Um, <clears throat> I wish they had Michael leaving. Which, although he wasn't in it much this year. Because he left last Christmas. And then came back for like four episodes which I don't really understand why he did I mean I like it because I like Michael but there was really no point in him coming back because nothing happened and then we had Amy leaving which I'm not sure if she has um again same with Raph she was really only brought in for that storyline and when her and Raph split up there was not really much point in her still being in Holby because you know she was brought in because he was kind of thing so yeah and obviously, just last week, we had the return of the lovely Oliver Valentine, although he wasn't really in it last week, uh, this week. Well, no, he seemed to have disappeared in this week's episode. So hopefully they're not just going to leave it like that. And he is going to become a main character again. Um, we had the brief return of Rick's daughter, Jess, and that little storyline, which was nice to see Rick get a storyline, although it didn't really go anywhere. Um, and of course, the fabulous Connie Beecham had... Was it two little appearances? Which is always amazing, because, you know, it's Connie Beecham. Uh, oh, pins and needles in my foot. Oh, my God. And then we've had two consultants, two of our favourite consultants have experienced their mother dying this year, which is obviously Jack first, although her and Paula didn't get on, and Paula wasn't very nice. And then more recently was Serena's mum, Adrienne, which 
was very sad and you know so yeah that's three deaths of ships well three like character deaths which is Bonnie Adrienne and Paula um yeah obviously there's more like one-off character deaths but yeah I don't really know where I'm going with this <laughs> Um, I'm just going to talk about some of the storylines this year. There's probably more that I've forgotten, but to start off with, very beginning of the year, we had Emma Naylor being born. I think it's a week till her birthday. So I know her birthday's on the 7th, which is my dad's birthday. Uh, yeah, I think it's a week. Yeah, it is a week, exactly a week. Um, and then leading on to that was the Jack and Johnny's custody case. Which, I don't know, I think, like, you think, mm, I don't know, I thought the point of them doing that was to have a big, like, court episode at the end, but they didn't do that, they just kind of, as you know, Jack gave away Emma, so, I don't know, I don't really, I didn't like that, it went on for too long, and two of my favourite characters were arguing, and nothing really came of it. Apart from Jack breaking my heart. Uh, and obviously we've had Zosha's illness. It's been quite an ongoing thing. Sorry, my camera cut out. Where was I? Zosha's illness. And it's probably going to be an ongoing thing into next year, which I'm looking forward to. Um, and then we've got the Harry, Raph and Amy baby storyline, which I've already talked about. I didn't really like, but Daddy Tressler. Mm, exactly. Um, <laughs> then we've had... Adrian, um, Serena's mum, as I've already mentioned, with her dementia and everything, um, which I quite like that storyline. I was glad that Holby tackled it. And um, so Essie's granddad, I don't know if they're counting that as a big storyline, with, you know, him being a Nazi and everything, but they did, yeah, I quite like that because I like Essie. Um, and then Elliot's illness, which was another storyline I liked, although it made me sad because I love Elliot. So yeah, they're main storylines this year. Let me know if I've missed any major ones because I've got a feeling I have. So, and then I've just kind of asked myself some questions type thing, like about my favourites. Um, and you can an feel free to answer these in the comments, I'd like to know. So my favourite episode of this year was in January, so it's kind of cheating with self-control, which is when Emma was born. My favourite storyline was it's difficult, because I didn't really like many of them, like, as a whole, but, like, I wasn't super keen on them, but I quite like Zosha's, I'm glad that they tried something like that, with a member of staff, which they haven't for a, a long time. Um, my favourite pairing, like, new pairing this year was Fletch and Colette, but my favourite pairing, like, they have been for a long time and carried on into this year is Jack and Johnny. I'm sorry, I know, unpopular opinion. Um, my favourite new character this year, which is kind of cheating, is Fletch. Um, but my favourite all-time character that still is this year is obviously Jack. So yeah, let me know what you think about all of the things I've mentioned. I'm um, sorry if this video is a bit rushed, I don't have much memory left on my phone. And I've got loads of college stuff to do, so I need to get this out of the way. Um, so yeah, thanks for watching, and... This is going to be my last Holby video of this year, so I'll see you with more Holby videos in 2015. Thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Bye!